You know, also, too, I want to give a couple flowers and shout-outs to Mike Brown, with the NBA's Coach of the Year, what he did in Sacramento. I know, look, eliminated in the first round as a three seed over the Warriors, or by the Warriors, I should say. But just a tip of the cap to Mike Brown and why he was the NBA's uh, Coach of the Year. What more can you say about just what Sacramento did and, and what the future looks like for that ball club? It, it was – it's a remarkable uh, achievement um, off the top. I know that Sabonis played a lot. Right. He's one of those few guys in the league who plays a lot of games. Um, De'Aaron didn't play quite as much, and, you know, we've had a year of unprecedented amounts of top-line players sitting large swaths of games. Um, and the reason why I mention that is because it does skew a little bit uh, what we will look at when we think about the season ending standings and what regular season wins mean. Um, I don't know if we've ever had as wide of a difference between playoff basketball and regular season basketball as we've had now. So that would be the grain of salt. Um, but to, to not only make the playoffs for the first time since I think 2006, um, but to be the three seed, in the West, you know, getting getting the best of teams like the Clippers and the Suns, the Lakers, the Warriors, um, it's it's of course it's remarkable. And I think really even beyond that, what he did was is, is you know it's a, te- a relatively new team that changed itself at the trade deadline last year, but so they're not together very much and they're young and. Most of the guys there, other than Harrison Barnes, like really haven't done a lot of winning. And and for for Mike to bring these guys together and teach them that they can win and that they can play this way, I think is almost a bigger accomplishment than just like looking and seeing how many wins they had and where they finished in the standings. It is he changed the belief in that organization and in that locker room. To the point where, like, you could say, I mean, they took the defending champions to seven games Mm -hmm. and were awesome in that. And I think that is indicative of the work that he has done, uh, you know, over the the course of the regular season and last offseason. And and that's, to me, why he's the coach of the year. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 